What is up, I Love Basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. I'm here with John and I'm here with Dom. Today we're gonna show you how to master the triple threat. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna show you a couple basics first just from a standstill. Then we're gonna really learn how to work on this to make it work for you in an actual game. So first things first, let's just start right here. Now, in America, you see a lot of people teach the rip through. Overseas, you don't see people teach the rip through. The reason being is because it's technically a travel when, when it's done. So people teach rip throughs all the time and the back foot always lifts up before the ball goes down. In America, for some reason, we've decided to just let that be a thing and it's okay. So. In America, you can get away with it a ton. But overseas, you do this, you're getting called for a travel every single time. So I'm just not gonna teach that one today. Although I love the rip through, it's a great move. You can learn how to do it with the opposite foot, which I don't think is as good. But, you know, I'm, we have a lot of fans from overseas and different parts of the world and I don't, I don't wanna get called on a rip through right now. So what we will do instead is work on our jab steps. We will work on different types of ways to push the ball out. And I will kind of show some different variations off the rip through. Sounds good? So. And what you can do, what they tell you to do overseas is boom, put the ball down like that, right? So if you're in America, right now you guys can kind of mix it up a little bit and then from overseas fans and American fans, you guys can know the difference between what gets called for you. So I don't mind right now, I'm gonna play defense here. You guys can rip through low and take that dribble and push out into a layup or you can push that ball out like that. Just make sure that when you do that, that you drop your shoulder fast enough that you can protect the ball, right? Because you don't want to just throw it and have it wide open here. So we're going layups here, cool. You can either rip through the American way or you can rip through the feeble way. Sounds good? It technically is. Every, every rip through is technically a travel. For some reason, we've just, we've taught it and refs don't call it all the time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So go ahead, rip through low. Yep. Good. Good. Good, just make sure to move my hand out the way, right? Yep. Huh? You can do it, you can do it American style too, it's fine. Yep. Go, go. Good. Beautiful. Next one here is we're gonna teach the jab step. So we have ball on the left hip. We're gonna jab hard to the right knee. We wanna shift our entire body weight to make it look like we're going this way. Oh, we're pushing off that right foot. Ball goes down, 100% not a travel. So you can do this wherever you are in the world. So we're hard jab step. Boom, push this way. Make sure that you dribble with the left hand. I've seen people do it with the right hand. Doesn't make sense to me. So we jab right, we go left. Let's make a left hand layup. Isn't it the release of the ball? What is? Jab. Yes, it's on the release of the ball. So. So, yeah, I'm saying, no matter where you are, it's never going to be a travel. As long as you don't slide your left foot. Go for it. I've been doing that a lot. Jab and go. Okay. Yep. Boom. Oh, perfect. One thing that's going to help you, right, you're always jabbing to this right knee. Boom. But look at the angle of this one. I'm not picking up my foot, I'm not traveling there. Once I slide, it's a travel, but you're going to see people with good jab steps are going to turn that foot and push out. Just don't slide that foot. Yep. Oh, yep, careful on it. One sec. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, good. Nice. Easy. Last one. Go. Oh. Love it. Now, let's talk about a little bit of protection. So you're guarding me. This is where people get into a lot of trouble, okay? If you're being defended tight, people who like to put the ball over their head and lean back. This is the worst thing that you can do. Instead, Let's take my hip, go ahead, pressure me. I'm gonna take my hip and I'm gonna step into space. So I'm gonna keep the ball protected here. Boom, right there on the side of my body. I'm gonna step into defense and then from here, now we can either rip or we can jab and go. So first thing is let's step into defense, create some space and then we can rip or jab. Ready? Crowding, crowding, step into me. Yep, perfect, now go. Perfect. Step into me. You don't have, no, I'm saying, you don't have to hold the ball behind your head. Right. That's what people do when they're scared. Right. right? They hold it here and they step back. You don't have to. If you want to just hold it here, you're fine. Yeah. Right, yep. yep. Good. Good. On you. Good. Good job. Space. Good. Love it. Love it. Love it. Perfect. Good touch. Great touch. Good. Rip. Quick. Tough flow, tough flow. Good. Left hand, let's get two more makes. Two more makes total. Good. Nice. Nice. One more make, one more make. Good. Great space. 
Nice. Great space. Good. Now, we're creating space. Now, instead of going totally in, play defense, please. We're going to go a little bit more across. So I'm going to play, play pressure, pressure, pressure. So instead of just going straight in, I'm going to go a little bit across. The reason I'm going more across is because if I get my foot over here, I win, I get to go. I'll just take a dribble and I'll go, right? Mm -hmm. Most people won't just stand like this. They're going to slide over, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to slide over, but I want you to maintain pressure. Now what I'm trying to do is trying to create space, right? So I'm going in or I'm going across, but now when I go across, he's not just going to let that happen because if my foot beats his feet, right? Boom, take a dribble, get a layup, I'm gone. But he's going to step over. Now, sometimes when they step over and I open up, I'm going to have this space. Lovely. So more often than not, or not even that, just sometimes in general, they're not going to let you have that space because he wants to crowd me. So I step across, he's crowding. I back up, he crowds. So this isn't going to help me. I step across again, he's crowding, I back up, he's crowding, he's all up in my space, I can't really rip through or jab or do anything because he's right here. So instead when I step across, and I'm trying to create this space, right, I'm trying to step across, now when I'm here, I'm just going to spin because that side is open. So I'm spinning that right foot, boom, take that dribble and I'm out of there, okay? So I'm going to pressure you guys, step, try to step across a little more, boom, I'll pressure here, yep. Instead of opening up, don't, don't even bother opening up. So boom, you see I'm here this much, you just take that right foot, boom, we're out of there. All right, step over, step over, yep, just one step. Just one step across, don't even go in, just go across, straight across. Yep. yep, one step across, spin straight to it, there you go. That's all it is, yep, step across and spin across. Step, go, spin, nice. Good job, easy. Good, spin. Love it. Good. Last one. Perfect. Easy, there you go. All right, let's see it. Now, what we're gonna do is get a little more movement into it because you're not gonna see at high levels of basketball a ton of passing, catching, and just triple threat. In fact, some coaches would rather get rid of triple threat in general just because it takes so long, right? But knowing how to use your rips and your jabs and your shot fakes and all those types of things are huge and very important. So of course we want to make sure we're adding shot fakes and we're adding jab steps. For your shot fake, just make it look like your jump shot. Boom, up to the forehead. You can step up on your toes, you can drop your butt, as long as you're getting that ball up and making it look like you're about to shoot the ball. Eyes on the rim. I've seen people pump fake without looking at the rim. Don't do that. Look at the rim. I've seen it. People go like this. I'm not falling for that. Look at the rim. I've seen people go like this. Bring the ball up. I know you're not shooting like this. Bring the ball up. So, now we're going to start from there. I'm going to feed you, okay? You have the option to do one of three things. You can jab, you can rip, or you can pump fake. And then just play two dribbles out of there. Sounds good? Let's go. Step in. Top of the key. Top of the key. Go. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Go. Easy. Let me see it now. Top. Boom. Good. Nice. Easy. Perfect. Hey Dominic, I want you to toss this one to yourself because not everybody's going to have a passer. So just throw this one to yourself, just like someone would do at home. Boom. Perfect. Nice. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Good shot. We'll switch sides. Same idea. I'll throw these ones to you now. Either way, just as long as they understand that, they can just throw it to themselves at home. All right, so really all we're trying to do is just get movement because in general, you're going to move into any catch, right? You're not just going to stand. Whether you're moving away from the ball or to the ball or popping out to the perimeter, you're moving usually. So you want to be able to carry that momentum to sell your defender, right? Like if you, Dom, if you had the ball and John, you were guarding me, there are times when I'm going to be able to get it and just catch the ball on the head and go. There are times when there are people there and there's help side there and I don't want to go that way, but I want to keep his momentum coming. So I might catch and pump. So now he jumps and then this side opens up for me, which may be what I want. Or same idea, I could do the same thing and come here and he's riding with me and I catch it. You're fine. I catch it and his momentum is carrying him this way and I might jab with that left foot or push this way or vice versa or jab with the right foot because I want to take that opening. Right, or I come here and as soon as I catch it, I'm gonna jab so that way you go this way and then I wanna take that side. But I'm trying to use my momentum and use your momentum against you to get to the open spots on the floor. All right, your first down, let's go. Boom. Nice, beautiful, great job. Love it. Short. 
Beautiful. Love it. One more. So tough. So tough. On a make, on a make, on a make, on a make. Almost on a make. Good. So different ways to do it. The main thing with it is that we're taking care of the ball, we're getting the defense off balance before we even take a dribble. So that already gives us a huge advantage, right? Because now we can just get straight to our spots. Less dribbles, coach is always in favor of that. And secondly, like I said, or actually first, like I said, is just taking care of the ball. Because a lot of people get into triple threat and they get nervous, they get worried. There are times when you catch the ball and you're waiting for your teammates to set a screen and you just gotta hold it and wait for that pass to be open. So how can you be strong with it and not turn that ball over, holding it where we need to hold it? Right? You typically want to keep it out of this area, hold it shoulders, right? Hold it below here, hold it here, right? Different spaces, but not having the ball here where it can get ripped. So just understanding that, looking for your teammates, being able to use your hips, use, use, use your butt to push the defense out, knowing how to spin, knowing how to open step, knowing how to come here, keep that foot down, not travel, sell your pump fake. All those things are going to help you a ton and use momentum. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program, and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.